All right, y'all know how we do. We open with a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, you are sovereign, you are holy, you are mighty, you are righteous, you are loving, and you are kind. We thank you for all that you've been and all that you will be to us. We thank you that you are our strength. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you give us the victory, that you heal us, that you restore us, God. You give us power to walk through any situation knowing that you are with us, God, and we have the host of heaven on our side. We have no reason to fear, doubt, or worry, Lord God, because even in the lowest times, God, you are there. Where it says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. No fear, just faith. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for everybody under the sound of my voice. God, be with us. Strengthen us. Give us courage, God. Give us favor, Lord Jesus. And we'll give you the praise, the glory, the honor, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Bless us, God. Strengthen us, Lord Jesus. Keep us in the center of your will and in the palm of your hand. And God will give you praise and glory forevermore because it's already yours, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. Time for the faith walk of the day. Um, today I want to talk about being consistent, how <laughs> to know if you're wishy-washy, if you are making sure decisions based on your faith, or if you are making decisions based on how you feel. I don't like it today. Uh, I'm not so happy. Let me tell you what the word says, um, in first Corinthians 15 and 58. So now beloved ones stand firm, stable and enduring, live your lives with an unshakable confidence. We know that we prosper and excel in every season by serving the Lord because we are assured that our union with the Lord makes our labor productive productive with fruit that endures. Um, that's the, um, the Passion Translation, um, TPT, if you see it in your Bible app or if you have uh, different translations. The thing that I like most about using different translations is sometimes it widens your understanding of the scripture, but I digress. I want to talk about being consistent. It is easy to stop moving forward in something that, um, something that you're doing in life because it doesn't feel good, because it becomes uncomfortable, because you don't have a lot of cheerleaders, because people are not on your team. But if you have made a commitment to God, you are required to keep moving forward. And there is strength for you, and there is instruction for you, and there is the Holy Spirit that will guide you. And just because everybody is not on your team does not mean that you can stop. Um, the English Standard Version says, Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. You may be more used to the King James Version. Um, whatever version you read, the message is be steadfast, be focused, stick with it, be consistent. A lot of times when things get uncomfortable, we go, oh, just I'm going to sit and wait on God to show me what to do. And sometimes you're just sitting because you don't want to do the work. Sometimes you're just sitting because you don't want to dig and seek and find the answer. You don't want to keep going. You have to, though. You have to, though. And I, I, I wish I had some good fluffy answer because sometimes we always want the fluffy answer. Keep going because you're going to get this. Sometimes what you're doing, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get the benefit of what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you're going to have people cheering you on all the time. Everybody's not going to have pom-poms when you do what you do. We have to be a little more realistic and a little more grounded in our thinking as it relates to working for the Lord. The Bible talks about the times that we have to go through and deal with things. God is our reward and knowing that we're honoring him and knowing that the presence of God is with us and knowing that we have the peace of God and knowing that he will guide us and knowing that he will direct us because we can't keep our walk with Christ. We can't treat it like, like a genie in the bottle. I'm doing this because I'm going to get a new car. I'm going to do this because my bills are paid. I'm going to do, you know, it, it doesn't, faith doesn't work like that, you know? And the more we are more grounded and realistic and being consistent in our faith, whether there's somebody on the side with pom-poms or you're working because you really just love God, I want you to understand that we can't afford to be wishy-washy, not in this day and time. Times are too crazy. I want to be consistent with God. I want to be consistent in my work, consistent in my prayer time, consistent in my focus, consistent in, in serving him in whatever capacity I'm serving, bypassing my feelings and my emotions. I'm sad today. Somebody offended me today. And, you know, I don't have no friends. Nobody called me. I didn't get invited to the event. So what? My eyes are stayed on Jesus. My focus is on him and not the things around me because they will change and God will not. So if God won't change, then I'll do my best 
to pray to, for God to give me the strength not to change. I understand we can't do it in our own strength, but through God's strength, we absolutely can. All right, so stay good, consistent, good people. Uh, that is my faith walk for today. It is time for um, the Ericaism of the day. Today, I want to talk about how the enemy sits small distractions when you have had progress. So you could have had an amazing weekend, a great phone call. There's something you accomplished and you're super excited and you got your plans going and you got your plans moving and bam, right there smack dab in the middle of your progress comes something that'll take you back. Something that broke your heart, something that has plagued you all of your life and the enemy knows that it is your trigger. And he puts it right in smack dab in the middle of your progress to see what you're going to do. I want you to know that is only a test. It is a test to see if you're really delivered, if you're really over it, if you're really uh, giving it to God, if you've really surrendered that thing. I don't care if it's starting a new business or going to college or making a decision to start working out. And then the thing that tempts you the most, the enemy will always bring it to you just when you start moving forward. Pass the test is my word for you today. Don't be distracted. Pass the test and recognize it's sometimes it's the most random things. The phone call will be random. The email will be random. Like, where did this come from? Why is it coming right now? I thought I was over this. I thought I wasn't dealing with this anymore. I'm stronger than this. Yes, you are stronger than this. Do not be distracted by the trigger, by the test by the distraction that the enemy is trying to place in your life right now. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know this is for somebody. You know why? Because the enemy don't have a bunch of new tricks. He keeps doing the same things over and over and over. Telling that you, telling you you can't. Telling that telling you that you don't have what you need to get it done. Telling you that nobody's on your side. You know, he wants to uh, inc discourage us. He want, wants to keep us offended. He wants to keep us uh, uh, insecure about what we have. He got, he got no new tricks. He keep doing the same thing. Make you second guess God. He doesn't, he doesn't tell you to stop. He'll just go, oh, do you really want to do it now? He can't stop your progress, but he'll progress, but he'll put a pause in that bad boy. And then you won't move forward. And then God is going, oh, they didn't pass the test. And the enemy is giggling and laughing. Come on, don't let him win. Pass the test. Keep going. Don't be distracted. It is only a test. It's only a distraction. Keep moving forward. You're doing good. Don't let nobody hinder you. Don't stop running the race. Don't stop moving forward. You may have messed up, may have slipped a little bit, get up, brush the dust off and keep going. Don't stop just because you messed up. Or if you haven't messed up, don't let the enemy keep whispering. You better rebuke that booger and tell him to get out of your life. Mm -hmm. Hate the devil. He sucks. He's always trying to jack us up. But you have the power over him. Now with him, over him, you can command him to go. Resist the enemy. Submit to God. Resist the enemy and he will flee is what the word says, all right, I want to encourage somebody today. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for it. Don't respond to that text. Don't pick up the phone. Don't respond back with an evil message because they sent you an email that made you mad. Respond nicely. Thank you so much for your email. Be kind. All right, pass the test. That is my Erica-ism for you today. Love you and I mean it.